If you've been diagnosed with either osteopenia or osteoporosis, and when you've talked to anyone about exercise, they tell you about high impact exercises are good for building bone. You want that compression. So you want to be able to run and jump and skip and do some of those high impact activities to help stimulate new bone growth. Now, if you're able to do all those things, that's great. Keep doing it because you're building bone mass density. But what happens if you can't? Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Ed Debu, physical therapist from Integrative Physical Therapy in Bellingham, Washington. Strength training and building muscle mass is critical if you have osteopenia or osteoporosis. Generally, it's great for everybody, but especially if we have osteoporosis or osteopenia. I'll put a video link right up here to a video that I did that talks about four simple but very effective exercises that you can do that will help to build bone mass density, particularly in your spine. Building bone density in the hip is a little bit more challenging. It's just easier to load the spine than it is to load that hip. There is one exercise that you can do that does actually help build bone mass density, especially if you're over the age of 70 and you find it difficult to do some of those skipping and bounding and jumping exercises. You'd be surprised at how simple it is. One of the things that I tell my clients with osteoporosis is the best way to prevent an osteoporotic fracture is to not fall in the first place. So when we work on single leg balance, not only are we trying to improve our balance, obviously, to prevent falls, but there's an interesting study, and I'll put the link down below, that talks about how standing on one leg for one minute and repeating that three times over six to eight months has been shown to improve bone mass density in the hip especially for those people 70 or older. Now, if you need a chair or one or two chairs to hold on to, that's perfectly fine. But the idea is, is that it's a great exercise because not only are we challenging our sense of balance, but because of that pressure and compression, we are actually building bone mass density in this hips. So it's a great way to accomplish two things with one simple exercise. Leave a comment down below. Please feel free to share the video with anyone else that you might know that has bone mass density issues, especially if they're over the age of 70. Hope to see you with the challenge. Keep exercising, stay strong, and I'll see you at the next video. Take care.